What's up, guys? Welcome back. Okay, here we go again. 2024 Big Seattle Boat Show. Today's video is going to be all about the aluminum fishing boats. The whole video. We love our aluminum fishing boats. They're heavy duty. They're fishing machines. And they're affordable. Let's go. Hey, Stabycraft. These boats are a step up from your basic aluminum boat but I don't really feel like you're paying that much more I mean the price is pretty close they do such a good job of I don't know the design is really cool the paint jobs are much better oh, some extra features so you're actually getting a really cool aluminum boat with a cool design and a cool paint job and some cool extra features for not much more than your basic aluminum boat. If I was ready to buy, I would definitely put them on the list. Also, real quick, um, the high-end fishing boats, the fiberglass fishing boats like the Grady Whites and Boston Whalers are going to be in a separate video, so check out my channel if you want to check those out. Subscribe and turn on the bell if you want. Then they got this little 15-footer this is the coolest little 15 foot aluminum boat you're ever gonna see right here. This thing is so cool. It's only 40,000 bucks. The whole front window pops up. I guess so you can get to the anchor and also you can jump onto the dock or if you're picking up someone, they can jump in. I mean, for a 15-foot boat, that's pretty functional. I would never consider getting a 15-foot aluminum boat, but with this one, I might. $25,000. Nice, affordable smoker craft. For those of us on a budget... This is a sweet boat for 25000 I mean, if I was on a budget and that's all I could afford, I would be happy with that. I liked it. There's only two, two seats and you have space in the back for all your gear. I love that. All right, 53000 for this 20-footer. The Luma Welt Striker. That's about as good a price as you're going to get. For a 20-footer? Yeah. Definitely. I think that's as good as you're ever going to get for 53000 Stepping it up. Nice Duckworth. I feel like... I feel like Duckworth gives you... Also the most boat for your money. Nice 200 horse motor on it. What do we got? 99,000, 100,000 for 21 footer. But fully equipped with the hard top. Not everything. 23 foot for 125,000. This is a sweet boat. Runs of space in the back for your gear. Really nice seats. Those North River, the interiors are pretty nice. They got really nice seats in them. I was kind of impressed. There's another one. 98,000, 22 footer. Spring-loaded seats for a smooth ride. Really cool seats. You guys like those seats? Those are cool. I like the two different colors. That diamond stitch pattern is cool. Uh, 
Only got a 150 on this guy. What do we got here? 90,000. Nope. I want something bigger than a 150 for 90,000. Better give me a 200. Okay, 320,000 for this 28 foot Duckworth. The big guy. I love the bait station. No place to cut your bait. Keep some tackle. Awesome feature. Rocket launchers. Got a hose for washing down the deck. Love that. I guess you could fit four people at that little table, maybe. Four skinny people. <laughs> Flushing toilet. No, that's a bonus. These kingfishers are beautiful. 110,000. Yep. I like this boat for 110,000 for sure. Just the big deck that it's got on it. So much room. The steering console on the back. Follow your fish. Yeah. Compared to most other boats that I see, I would put this one at the top of the list. 110,000. Nice boat. Got everything. Three hundred thousand. Thirty footer. Man, that's a work of art. Even got the joystick back there. Love the joystick. Anyway, you guys, leave a comment. Any thoughts? I'm just throwing my two cents in just to keep the conversation going. And if any of you have made a boat purchase recently, let me know. Leave a comment. Use craft. Four hundred eighteen thousand. Okay. a lot more than I got. I don't know who's going to buy a $418,000 aluminum fishing boat. I mean, you got to be like a, I don't know, commercial fisherman set it up for commercial fishing or maybe you're a charter captain. But this is nice. Definitely comfortably fit four people there. Two more up front. Oh, yeah. Take eight people out on this baby if you wanted. Makara. These are pricey. 400,000. Three hundred thousand. Oh, over thirty-five thousand dollars off. You see boats. Beautiful. 
But yeah. A little expensive. Here we go. The Beast. The Jactar. 30 footer. <laughs> There's too many people on it. I couldn't get on. I really wanted to get up there and check that baby out. But no one can afford it anyway. I can't. What a beautiful boat. They've even got built-in lighting. Such a sweet boat. I love the little workstation in the middle of the boat like that. Rocket launchers even got a dinghy. beast but even it have to be a pretty established charter business in loaded fully loaded where you got guys on in from not sure if it comes with all those electronics with the price or not, but I mean there are some guys in that situation. Man. Yeah, now that is a comfortable aluminum boat. There it is, six hundred fifty thousand thirty four footer. Beautiful. So I thought it would be kind of fun just to stop and check out a couple of these inflatables because they were right there. So 37,000. What do you guys think of these inflatables? I mean, that's like a little equivalent to maybe a 16 foot aluminum boat, maybe. I don't know. A lot of guys don't like them because they're afraid they're going to pop. But. So here's one about 19 foot. This would compare it to like an 18, 19 foot aluminum boat. 50, almost 55,000. Yeah, super cool, but I would stick with an aluminum boat for the same price. So much more space, more fishable. But if you're not into fishing and you want a wakeboard, I mean, you get a lot for your money. Nice Honda, 100 horsepower. Guys, I hope you got your daily fix of sweet aluminum fishing boats. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got a kick out of today's video. Uh, check out my other videos. I got another video where we have all the Grady Whites and the Boston Whalers and the other high-end fishing boats. So check out that video. Thanks for watching.